Yo, good morning, man. Your boy EQ coming live from my uh, from my garage. I want to show you guys some um, drying techniques that you can use. Uh, I use all three, but lately here uh, I've been using the uh, papping technique because it leaves less water marks. All right, so. I'm not gonna string this video out. You know, I wanted to get right to the point. So the first thing we're gonna do, uh, you know, we gotta get ready to uh, wash it. And it's raining outside right now, but I got my BMW over here. I've been driving it this week. Uh, so we're gonna give it a little outside cleanup, show you guys some of the techniques uh, that I use to dry a car, okay? Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the EQ Gold Soap. I shake it up. You know, I always tell people, you know, use what works for you. You know, I have people order for me. Uh, some people order for McGuire. People order this and put it order that. Use what works for you. You know, uh, I like my own product. Um, and my clients seem to like my product. And my BMW gets lots of compliments. Uh, they always ask me, you know, who cleans my car. And then they look at my tag. It says equality. Uh, mobile, auto detailing and cleaning. So, if you want to be known, uh, get you a tag. Uh plate around your tag or uh, put your sticker in your window of your vehicle or something on your personal vehicle. Uh, so when you're driving, you know, people still looking at that vehicle, you want them to remember your name. You know, like mine is Equality. You know, every time somebody think about a detail, hey, Equality do it. So you want to put that and steal that in their mind, okay? First thing we're going to do is uh, put some EQ soap in. Now, most of the time when I'm going out in the morning, because you guys know I do this part-time, and <clears throat> since I do it part-time, uh, basically what I do, I do one or two cars in the morning before I go to work. And most of the time, I put hot water in my bucket before I leave going to the client, because hot water will break dirt down quicker than cold water will. All right, so let's go up top and uh, fill this thing with hot water, and we'll get started. All right, guys, back on the scene. As you can see, uh, the EQ soap is very foamy. You know, I got hot water in it, and you can immediately tell the difference, you know, when you put your hand in it. All right. Now, normally when I'm at the house, like I am now, I use a water hose. You know, uh, yeah, my van outside, but like I said, it's raining outside. And I have the luxury of being able to do uh, my wife and I cars in the inside. I spin it here. You can see my BMW behind me here. Uh, being that it's a certain color, the grayish color that it is, you can't really tell that it's dirty on the outside, but it is. Because, uh, you know, I've been getting caught in the rain. It's been raining here for the last week or so, or two weeks. Well, almost a month, really. This on and off, it's supposed to rain today. Again, 90%. So that's why a person like in my position, uh, I keep my job. Uh, like I tell you guys, I do it part-time. And the reason I do it part-time, for some of you new subscribers, I'm getting a lot of subscribers, man. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And I hope I can learn you guys a lot about <clears throat> not just uh, detailing, but life, financial, and putting yourself in a position where you in control, where you making decisions, where I want to put you in a position where you're telling yourself, I don't have to. Like right now, it's been raining um, almost a month here in Tennessee. Does that bother me? No, I got a job. You see my point? I got into detailing not uh, because I wanted to start a detailing business. I was in debt, and I had to get myself out of debt. And this business took me to heights I didn't think it would go, you know, because I had a plan of getting out of debt. So people are like, man, you should expand your business and, build and expand this. That's not what I wanted to do. I had a plan from the get-go. So now I'm in control. You know, I don't have to detail if I don't want to. I like it. You know what I mean? So, let me get the water hose from outside. We'll bring it in, then we'll get started, okay? Okay, guys, back. All right. I told you guys uh, a couple of videos ago, um, I used the microfiber tiles, that size right there, to wash my rides because they're soft. And they seem to do a great job, man. I was surprised. Actually, I ran across it by mistake because I had another rag in there, and I pulled this one out, and I, it takes up so much space, and you don't have to wipe that hard. You know what I mean? 
So I really love these things, man, washing vehicles. So that's what I start washing them with. And my BMW and my client's cars come out great. So what I do, I just put that in the bucket for the meantime. Let me go around the car and get my bag, and I'm going to show you guys how I start out. your bag you know you don't have to get this type of bag you can get a enclosed one or whatever you have to do but the reason I like mine is because everything I need is in there I don't have to unload a lot of stuff out of my van to do what I have to do everything is in my reach touch and as I go around the car I just pick my bag up and tow it around the car so when I'm done pick up my bag put it back in the van all right. Now I'm very particular about my BMW. I really I am, because uh, you are your own billboard. I can't stress this enough. If you got a personal car and you keep it dirty, and people know you're a detail. They'll be like, "Hey, look at your car. <laughs> you need to clean your own," which is true. <laughs> so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, find my EQ all purpose, which is here. It's a citrus base. I spray it on my tires and leave it. You know how some 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 products you got to spray it on your tires, and then you uh, thirty seconds you got to spray it off. That's like acid, and then you're done. But the acid breaks that rim down. So my EQ purpose is a citrus base. So I normally put it on the tires, let it break it down while I'm washing the car. All right. So let's get it in. Let's uh, see can I get you guys up. I like my new pod. Um. Uh, so can I <clears throat> So what I do I go ahead you can use a uh, a spray tank to do this that's normally what I do you know I'm very generous with it you know and I can let that sit up on there <laughs> it ain't going to do nothing to it but break the dirt down it won't break that rim down okay So we're going to go up front I said I'm moving you guys with the camera. Hope you can see. My lighting in my garage is not very good. I'm trying to wait till they get done with the inside of my house because I'm getting the whole thing totally remodeled. I'm almost done. And then I'm going to have them come in and uh, really put the whipping on my garage and make it look professional. So uh, that's my plan. That's why, man, I try to tell you guys, you know, use your money wisely, man. All I'm doing is putting more value on my home remodeling, you know. See, that, that, that uh, remote control light just went out for the uh, garage. You know, it goes out a certain time. So, I mean, I can see, but I like my videos to be um, where you guys can see. All right? So, let me go around the car, and then I'll get back with you, okay? All right? I'm going to get ready to spray the car down. Like I said, I'm using a water hose today. My water hose works just as good as my pressure washer. So when I'm at the home, when I'm at home, when I'm at home, I try to get my equipment a break, okay? And plus it's early in the morning, man. I practice, even though I've been doing this a long time, I practice all the time, man. Sometimes I can't sleep. Like I say, I have a luxury of having a garage. So I come down here, man, and I practice. I mean, I mean, it's just what I do, man. You know, uh my wife, you know, she used to get irritated with it. You know, I'd be practicing so much in the garage so long, but now she understands, see. So all right, let's get spray it down. I use the soft water method when I'm washing it. I'm going to show y'all in a minute how um, 
You can tell this car has been waxed. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Pretty much good to go. Let me show y'all how, how this car has been waxed. All right. I don't know if y'all can see this. You see how this car is beating up? This car has been waxed. I keep it waxed. You know, uh, to me, you can wax a car how much you want. You know, all they're doing is, you know, make sure you don't put too much to where uh, you're putting wax on top of wax on top of wax, you know, because. I don't compound or clay bar my car a lot at all, unless it needs it. You know, some people, they'll clay bar a car when they don't even need it. So be careful with that. And as you can see how the car is beaded up, that's how you can tell that this car has been waxed. You see, it beads up. Now, when this car stops beating up, you know that it's time to, for it to be waxed again. And, uh, that's how you can tell that this car has been waxed. You know, it just beads up. The water ain't going nowhere. So, it's a good coat of wax on here, the EQ Lotion Wax. That's what I use, you guys. You can go to my website and take a look at it. But uh, there you go. All right? So, <clears throat> let me done. Uh, let me wash this bad boy, and then we'll get to the drying techniques. All right, guys, I'm back. All right. I'm going to use one, two, three, four, four techniques of drying. Now, if it was me, this is how I do it. If it don't work for you, I always tell you, whatever works for you. You feel me? Now, the blade, I normally use it for the top to uh, save me time uh, of drying the car. So the blade is a good a good tool for a drying tool. Uh, this is what I started out with, and I still use it uh, for the top. Uh, let me show you guys a quick way that you can get the top, you know, and I always end up with a final wipe. All right, let's start with the blade. You don't have to press hard. Just rub it across it. It moves the water out of the way. You can also do the windows. But that's just one technique, okay? Now, we're going to start with the body, all right? We're going to go around here to the back. We're going to go around to the trunk. Let you guys down a little bit. I love this pot. If I don't break it, I done broke about three of them. <laughs> I can't have it. My wife see so you rough on stuff. I know, honey. I know. Guys, give me a minute. All right. Now. <clears throat> cock this up for you guys. I like doing it in real time. Uh, so, there you go. Now, when I get to the back, this is what I call uh, the papping method. And the reason I use this, you don't get any water spots. You can use two of those. Let me get this other one right quick. This is what I learned. That you can have less water spots if you pack. Try it yourself. If you like it, another method for you to use. But I love it on my BMW and the high-end cars I do. I don't have any water spots. But I always come back with a final wipe. So, because if you notice, when you get water spots, they be round. 
That's because of the water. It's only the car is ram. So to keep me getting that, you palpitate. All right. That's dry, okay? So now, same thing with the windows. You guys, like I said, you can go fast with this, man. Let that sit in for you. Let it do the work. The pap, you know, you won't have that, uh, like I said, those little white specks on your windows. I just share this with you guys and I you know what I do. Because most of the time when people drive a car, they just move in the water. You understand what I'm saying? They just move in the water and when they pick the tile up, it's still water in the car. All right. There you go. Like I said, I always come back though with a final dry. So, when we get to the side of the car, slide you guys back. Like the windows, same exact thing. I mean, I just palpitate. Some people say, that takes a lot of time. No, it doesn't. To me, it doesn't. And just in case you think it ain't picking up water. Ha <laughs> ha. Think again, boy. Both of them picking up water. You see that? Now all you're doing is palpitating, man. All right. We're going to go to the front of the car. I'm just showing you guys different angles. Now when I get to the front of the car, I got two of these, right? What you're trying is to prevent them round uh, watermarks. If you still see water sitting on it, just tap it. Tap tape. All right, that hood is done. Just in case you think it ain't working. That's how I roll, dog. All right, let's finish the car. We'll see how it looks. All right, you guys, I'm done palpitating. Now it's time for the soft microfiber rag to finish it off. You don't even have to wipe hard now. You don't have no spots on the windows, none of that. All you're doing now is clean it up. Let your towel do the work, and you're good to go. I mean, it's an amazing technique to keep your water spots from being on your car. Remember, you don't have to wipe hard. You know, what you're trying to do is basically just clean up. And you ain't really got to touch the windows. This is a dry technique to keep you from getting water spots. A whole bunch of them. You can use the 
this technique. <clears throat> Come back in the scene. Can you use the palpitating technique with a towel? Yes. I like these shimmies simply because the fact when I get down to palpitating the sides, they're not dragging the ground. You know what I mean? These right here, you can do it. You can fold it and you can palpitate. But you see, they're going to start touching the ground and you might pick up something. So that's why I like the shimmies for the palpitation. And as you can see, the car is beautiful. You know, the windows don't have any uh, water spots on them. That's what I like about it with the shimmy. You tap, 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 tap. I mean, it's amazing how I discovered that. You know, I was just kind of uh, washing my car, and then I put the shimmy just on the back so I can go get some. So when I came back, I removed it. And the water was gone, and I didn't see them little round spots. I said, Let me, my mind clicked. Let me try something. And I started doing the windows like that, and it was sunny outside. So when I got done, no spots on the windows. I was like, let's try this whole car like this. So my next car was my wife's car. It's black. I did the exact same thing. It worked. So not saying that you have to use this method. It's just one of the methods that EQ uses. So there's something else for you to try. It's, I call it the palpitation. You, just, you can take your big long tiles if you got some and go across to save you some time. Just tap, 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 tap. Go to the next spot. Tap, 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 tap. All you're doing is soaking up the water instead of taking the towel and just moving the water. All right? So that's my message for the day, man. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, the detailing business has been really good to me. Let me cock this up for you a little bit. Loosen this up. There we go. The detailing business has been real good to me, man. I take that money and, uh, hell, I remodel my entire house with that money. Like I said, I'm part-time. I may do one, two cars in the morning. Some of you guys are full-time. I understand, you know, but I have a pretty good job. And basically what I do is say I make 50 bucks a day. 50 times 5 is 250. If I decide to work Saturday for wash one car, that's 300 bucks. 300 bucks times 4, that's $1,200 a month. You can pay your bills with that detailing money and your job money you can just pocket think. Like I said, I got into this business for a reason, to get myself out of debt, and that's what I did. But it took me took me way over. I'm like, damn, I can get out of debt. I can pay my house off early. If I can get out of debt, I pay my van off early. I did. Took that money, doubled up on my van note, and paid it off. You see? Use that money, man. Boy. Alright, man, I appreciate y'all hanging out with EQ today. Check my website out if you want to buy the products that I use on my uh, BMW and my wife's car and my client's car. Check them out. You know, use the product of your preference. And uh, I appreciate all the new subscribers, man. Thank you so much. So my old subscribers, y'all know I love y'all. Boy. All right, man, y'all be cool. Deuces. All right, guys, it's all about the results. As you can see, the papping system works. The BMW is flushed. Uh, the tires are hit with the EQ All Purpose and the EQ Blue Sky Tire Shine. It's all about the look, guys, when you're done. No matter what somebody tell you, it's all about the look. It's what the customers see when they come out. Do they see a bunch of white spots on the window? You see the windows are flushed with the papping te uh, technique. I haven't put any glass cleaner up on them or anything like that. And... The inside, you know, I take just as good care of the inside as I do the outside, man. I mean, because you are your own product. You are running billboard. And every time I go to work, I was going to work one day, and I got to work. These guys outside, they was, had my car parked almost like in the front of the door. And the guys was like, that's got to be EJ's ride, man. Because I don't see his van. Said, that damn thing is clean, man. That's got to be his ride. So the other guy's like, nah, I doubt it, man. Nah. So they made a little wager. <laughs> so the guy came in, he found me, he said, E, is that your car out there out front? I said, which one? He said, that uh, silver BMW. I said, yeah. He said, pay up. <laughs> he said, man, you got that there going thing clean, man. I said, I appreciate it, man. He said, dude, I give it to you. You serious about what you do? Because you have to be, gentlemen and ladies. You have to be serious to the point you live and breathe 
detailing cars and cleaning cars and washing cars and interior job, whatever your flavor is in your ice cream. You feel me? And when you get to the back, this is what I was talking about. You see? Equality Mobile Auto Detailing. There it is. You see? People know what I do. You know, I got stickers and everything on my van, my trailer. You know, I want people to know exactly what I do. I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Another look at the BMW. Deuces.